All right, now that we've built the peachy printer, it's time to build the drip system and reservoir. Uh, we're going to need this heat shrink and all the tubing, including the neon tube. Uh, we need the grate, a sharpie, the cap. Uh, we need two of these rings, this vase-shaped piece of ABS, the long piece of ABS, uh, jumpers, scotch tape, a one liter bottle, a two liter bottle, both pieces of uh, metal wire, the large heat shrink tubing, the resin resistant dripper from the kit, and a pair of scissors. Take your one liter bottle, lay it down, and lay some of the hose on top of it. Give yourself about an inch on top, and then cut it, and give it a sharp angle on the edge. Then, grab all of the remaining hose, uh, split it into two, cut it in half, and cut two sharp edges on that as well. Take the short hose you just cut, insert it from the bottom of the cap, pull about an inch, grab the vase-shaped piece of ABS, insert it into the bottom. Then, take the other two pieces of hose, cram them in from the top, grab it from the bottom, and pull it equal to the other piece. Oops. A little overzealous. There we go. There we go. And you've got all three all together like that. Grab the neon hose, cut that, insert that from the bottom. Pull it till it's almost out. Then you can stuff the whole thing into the bottle and close it up. And that's pretty much it for the upper reservoir. Take one of these circles, fold your hose in half, stuff it through. Same thing with the neon hose. And that'll create a good seal. The neon hose barely fits. That's a real tight seal. Perfect. Next, grab the dripper, the heat shrink, and the aluminum wire. Straighten it out by running it through your fingers. That straightens out nicely. Cut the heat shrink about two inches off the end. The long piece of ABS is about two inches, so you can use that to measure. We're going to need that for the scanner, so set that aside for a later project. Put the aluminum tube, aluminum tube, aluminum wire, through the heat shrink. Leave about an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half on the end. Grab a bic or a heat gun or a gas stove or pretty much anything. Melt the heat shrink. If you are going to use a bic, put it in the blue part of the bic. Cut off another inch and a half on the end. Then we're going to insert this into the middle. And there's a little hole right there that we're going to need it to go through. Oh no, I've got it backwards, excuse me. We need it to go through, we need the end to go through. Come on now. There we are. This stuff bends really, really easy. So this is pretty simple. Then fold it 
up and around like that. I'll get a close up on all this in a minute. Fold the wire through the opening so it's nice and secure. Then take the remaining aluminum wire, cut it about in half, insert it here. You want it to be you want to have about an inch sticking out, inch and a half. You want this folded up and around as well. There we go. Twist these together. We are all set. Here's a close up of the dripper. You can see that if you were to move these metal contacts closer and farther, you'd be able to change the rate of drips and still get clear uh, drips. I remember from the beta, if it was too close to each other and you were going too fast, then you could the drips started bleeding together and you work you you wouldn't get a clean count. So this this is adjustable. Uh, you know you'll be able to change it based on the speed you like to print. So bear that in mind. Grab the jumpers from the bag and plug it into the aluminum wire that you've got left on the end. Then go back to your dripper or excuse me, your bubbler, and grab the two long hoses. Now, on the one that's pinched, you set that down away for a sec, but the one that isn't pinched, the one that's open, you stick the long piece of ABS, and I use this as a ramrod to stuff it in there. Then, you put it on the dripper right in the middle here. There we go. And then you take the large heat shrink and just cover the bottom of the dripper like that. Then use the scissors to cut a slit. And with the other hose, the one that is pinched, You stick it through the slit you just cut and run it to the bottom. Then we can set this assembly aside for the moment. I'm going to put this up a little higher than necessary to keep it together. Perfect. Next grab that uh, ramrod wire that we just used, the rigid stuff and the quarter inch grate. Straighten it out with your hands the best you can and then bend it in half. Then bend it about the length, a little less than the length of the grate. Pull it apart. Cross it over. And then we're gonna twist it. I'm hitting all my lights. There we go. So now we've got this sort of arm. And then we're going to put this quarter inch grate on it. Just going to bend it around. Pull it out nice and wide. So you don't sacrifice too much of your print area, but we don't need much for testing. And we can straighten this back out, get another one from Home Depot, all kinds of stuff. This is all we need for now. Perfect. All right. Tape a Sharpie to the top of a cardboard box or the bottom of the peachy, peachy printer box and set it on top of a book. Then you should be able to use this 
as sort of a tool to help you make a straightish line. There we go. Perfectly straight line all the way across. Except for that wahoo on the side. <laughs> anyway, cut that nice and straight. Once you've got the top cut off the 2 liter, grab the rod that we just twisted up and insert it and bend it here so it's about even with where you want it to sit. And then we're going to bend it even more. We're going to bend it past where it goes, so that way when we put it back in here, hopefully the, the goal is for it to sort of grip on there, and it does. Yeah, there we go. I have to trim off some of this extra wire, you don't need it, and it'll have a tendency to make the whole thing tip over. But uh, if you can't do that, you can just wrap it around or something, you know, balance it out. You know, I'm sure that like that, that, that seems to work okay. Just twist it around to the side. And for now, for testing, that's just fine. Uh, then, insert the drip tube. By using the clip on the side. I'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, there we go. And so now we've just got that clipped on like that. And we push this down, this tube down. And that's it. We are all set. This is this is the whole the whole setup here. Uh, so next up will be software and the first print, calibration, stuff like that. Uh, and I will let you guys know how to use all this stuff in the next one. See you then.